Hey guys, Gary with Grunt Lacrosse, and uh, today I've got another die for you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the pictures of it. Um, this head's actually for a repeat customer of mine. Uh, he's actually one of my early customers. Um, I did the Lexington Catholic uh, die for him. It was on the Warrior Evo X, I believe, if I remember correctly. And uh, he also had a die done by Styling Strings. It was shortly after that. It was the, uh, the Iron Man die, which is a phenomenal die. I thought it was really cool. Well, he contacted me a couple months ago, wondering if I'd be interested in doing another die for him, and uh, he wanted a Notre Dame die. So, instantly, off the bat, I was like, yeah, I've already got an idea for it. I initially was planning on doing this die for myself, um, but since he came to me and he wanted a Notre Dame die done, I pitched the idea to him. He loved it, so let's go ahead and get on with it. So here, I have the uh, Warrior Nas X, and... The idea behind the die was to try to recreate the helmet that Notre Dame's football team wore last year when they played um, Miami University, which was known. They, they had a game a long, long time ago. It was called, considered to be called the Catholics and Convicts game. It was back when Miami had a bunch of troublemakers and stuff like that. Um, some huge fights in the game and stuff. But uh, last year they, they came out, they played, and then they had this helmet where one part of the helmet was the navy blue. And then the other part of the helmet had, the, the navy blue side had the uh, leprechaun done in white. And I really liked it, thought it was a cool idea. Um, and then they had the white stripe and then it had the gold on the other side. So I pitched that to him, he liked it. And he said he wanted to make sure that it had the Notre Dame one there, the, um, the logo itself, and he wanted his son's number. So there's the Notre Dame logo, as you can see, done in gold. And it's got the navy blue uh, trim done to it. And then his number, which is 20, kept that in white on the gold side and did the navy blue trim around that. Um, then you've got the white leprechaun. Um, it got a little distorted here, but I mean, it's not only because there's a hole there. So that's the only reason why is there's some distortion there. So, but all in all, that came out real well. You can see the, uh, the shamrock up on the hat and all that. And then he also wanted to make sure that it had somewhere on it saying, play like a champion today, which if you guys know, that's... There's a sign that hangs down in their locker room as they come down the stairs, they all hit it, and it's been a Notre Dame tradition for a long time. So I went ahead and did that on the inside, done in white. Um, initially I was going to do it in the yellow, just to kind of change the, the, the coloring up here, but um, I changed my mind just because I wanted to keep this side, the whole navy and the white, so I just kept it as a white. So that's it. Um, there was a little bit of bleed, it was on the back side and there was a little bit of bleed down in here only because the water came up from underneath i tried to limit as much as possible i actually plugged all the holes with uh with, with glue but they always say if water wants to get somewhere it's going to get there and all it takes is one small little little pinhole and it's going to find its way there so um but i always try to min minimize as much bleed as possible if trying not to have any at all so that's it hope you guys like it um I'll be sending this out to them tomorrow, and hopefully they like it. So they got that, and then I uh, also got in the mail the other day, which you guys have already seen, those on Instagram too and on Facebook, um, another pair of gloves to add to my collection of uh, that I'm trying to start up, and I've got Johns Hopkins STX Shadows. So these are not going to be played with. I'll be putting them on my shelf just to try to collect gloves from teams that I like you know, in, in the college for lacrosse. Uh, I've already got the Maryland Black Ops, and now I've got the Hopkins. So my next step is to try to see if I can get a hold of some Notre Dame ones, um, and maybe some other stuff. So, but that's it. Make sure you guys uh, like the video if you like it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and that's about it. Have a good one, guys.